protest. But what I want to share is a personal story to try to make this a little bit more intimate. So if you really knew me, I can play this game, you would know that I believe that we are all capable of infinite love and we are these wonderful universes. And being here with you guys and hearing all your voices and being seen and being heard just reinforces that. And reminds me how wonderful it is to be seen and heard. And if you really knew me, you'd know that when I was a little girl, my mom used to answer the phone, yes, I am a strong black woman. strong black woman. But she would answer that with such power because my grandfather and my great-grandfather are strong black men, were strong black men. And so uh, today we have something going on in our community where voices aren't being heard and people are feeling like they're not being seen and they don't have this wonderful supportive love and environment to like fall into and be heard all the time. Whoa. And so there's this cacophony of voices that come from ultimately universes of love just like us saying I lost somebody I love I'm hurt and I don't know what to do about it and it's happening around us right now and I work in downtown Oakland I work at Clorox if you knew me you'd know I work for the evil marketing machine <laughs> and every day uh, when they have protests it happens right in my building and people in my building decide to not talk about it they talk about how gosh it was kind of hard to get to work today or gosh that's annoyed that our building got broken or um, oh are you going to leave early be safe and so um, the other day I was at work a little late and I needed to get my car and it was parked behind a big barricade of like 40 policemen and like 8 police cars and I walked up to a policeman and I said, hey, do you think I can move my car? And there's people protesting and chatting. And I had this like extreme sense of guilt that I wasn't participating and also this extreme sense of practicality that I was doing what I could with my life in that moment. And he said, yeah, 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 we'll be out of here in like 15 minutes, don't worry. Um, but you shouldn't worry anyway, you're on, you're on the good side. And I said, no offense, sir, but all of this is scary to me. I don't know what side you're on, but it's scary to me. And then um, they were right. They were gone like 15 minutes. The protest went the other direction. And I got my car and I drove home. And um, there's no right or wrong. There's just experiences and there's dialogue happening every day right now. And there's people that are just people like us looking for a container to be held in. Mm -hmm. And so just remembering that and being present with that is beautiful in whatever way you can. What's on Monday night? So, so my name's Beth, and I had noticed like Bellin <laughs> posting on, you know, put change her profile picture to Black Lives Matter, Matter and I've been going to, um, uh, a couple of the marches happening in the East Bay the last couple weeks. Um, I do, like professionally, I do a lot of social justice work, so it's kind of like, like I feel a professional responsibility to be there also, in addition to just being there, because um, it's a powerful thing happening right now. Um, and so Monday night at Lake Merritt, I think there's three different meeting spots, and I'll post information on Park Tribe when we get back, but. At 5 p.m. Monday night, there's gonna be a candlelight vigil. And um, I know one of the places is, is at the Arches, um, kind of near the farmer's market area. <coughs> so bring like candle and Dixie cup. I think they'll have some there, but I think just, you know, bring your own if you can. Um, and we'd love to see you there. And if we want to try and meet up as a tribe, like I can help coordinate something if people do like, haven't been in like a big demonstration type space before and do feel like they want some support there, 
Um, but this should be something that's like pretty peaceful. Like some of my friends and coworkers are bringing their kids, so I think it should be like a nice space to kind of come together, even if you haven't been reading up on what's going on. Um, I just wanted to put that invitation out there because I feel like there's my social justice work life and mm -hmm. then my like Burning Man hard drive life. Mm -hmm. And I know that like, everyone here has such big hearts. They're, they're not separate in philosophy. Um, so anyway, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And feel free to come talk to me during the week. Well, I want to make sure I can't. Who wants to be there? <laughs>